Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and this guy I don't know really. <laughs> I'm his son Ben. <laughs> and today you should have started with my name is Gandalf and I have the little hobbits whiskey for my little hobbits behind the camera because you are talking about McAllen and I'm talking about Glenn Morangy today. About what? Glenn <laughs> Morangy. <laughs> So we are talking about a real classic whiskey established 1824 mm -hmm. and Glenmorangie, well, they don't even write their age or the fun, uh, founding date of the distillery. Oh yeah, they do. On Distilled in Scotland since 1843. Where, where, where? Very small. Very, oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, By the 16 men of Tame. I yeah. visited the Morangi twice and there were a lot more than 16 yeah, men there. 16 people in Tame. <laughs> and uh, if you look at Glen Morangi, they have really long, beautiful stills, the longest stills look, ever in, in, in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> There's something below it. Uh, the longest stills in Scotland and they only have 12 very, very tall stills. And no, then you have... No, they are not whiskey stills. They are gin stills. They are now whiskey stills. They, they, they produce <laughs> gin. And on the other hand, we have these little hobbits holes where all the <laughs> hobbits go in and make a shit ton of whiskey <laughs> on very, very small stills. And there are millions of stills and, and it's just a, a mainstream product. But uh, McKellen uh, has 36 stills. Mm -hmm. And I think the volume of a single still house of McKellen, where there are more than one, is bigger than that of Glen Morangy. Definitely. Yes, because it's a mainstream product and this is an artisan product. What's the <laughs> price of the bottles? It's around 40 and around yeah. 60. Yeah. So people are, are willing to pay one and a half the price of that one. I don't know why anybody would pay, pay 60 for that one if you can buy 45 for a really good one. Yeah. <laughs> so let's let, let the, the flavors decide. Uh, no, first. Uh, what you got? I have the tallest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Definitely. Yeah, really tall, but <laughs> Wasn't I, there always a, a big glass bottom with, with no, McAllen? No, no. Not this one. Not this one. The, the more you pay, the more glass you get. Yeah, but mine <laughs> is wider and, and it's much more awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you have a perfume bottle. This is made by Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy. Yeah, that just shows how much, how much uh, craftsmanship and, and beautifulness is being put into this bottle. You try to, to drink yourself <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> No, the bottle is already beautiful. <laughs> so what you got? I got 12 years in American oak bourbon barrels finished in hand-selected sherry casks. Ma matured exclusively in the perfect balance of hand-picked sherry-seasoned American and European oak casks. Okay. So. And the, the emblem, the signet, is a very old picture of an... Of, an, of a stone that was found at the coast near the town of Tain, and that was a, a picked the, stone. The pick didn't have the possibility to distill. Yes, but it's... Uh, it, it came with the Celts. It's a, it's a, it's with the Celts, sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought with the Christians. <laughs> and what I want to say. You, uh, it was... Uh, yeah, the Picts, it's, it's a beautiful artifact that has been put to the National Museum in Edinburgh, I think. Mm -hmm. And then and it was stolen for the bottle. No! <laughs> <laughs> but they found it near the store. McKellen put their Craig, Lachy, uh, uh, Craig Lachy's house on the front, East standing LG. there, East LG, <laughs> since 1824. <laughs> Still standing. Fast. <laughs> <laughs> that old rubble. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. First, the winner. <laughs> first, <laughs> first, the bad one. First, the McGallan. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So, sure. Complex, you're... full, mature sherry cask. Sure, there are mm -hmm. sherry casks in there? Yeah. I'm not quite sure about that. For me, that's a little bit of a. a just a 
refill bourbon something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and now the oh. gin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm missing an olive. <laughs> no. It's a beautifully balanced whiskey with flowers and and an alcoholic note and <laughs> and grapes and also that distillery character with uh Did they tropical put brandy and in it? Fresh fruit. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's it's a perfect mixture between this oxidized and the freshness within one dram. Nice. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Good. Let's have a try. Make Alan first. Make Alan first. And you can stand the other better. <laughs> Definitely as it should be. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Good aftertaste. Mm. Long oak. <laughs> mm. Long oak. Very bitter. Oh, that's Yeah, that's European oak for you. Mm, now I get the European oak. Mm. Oh. oh, I need something else. Let's go for the big yeah. It smells real nothing against this Black Helen aftertaste. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. <laughs> Creaminess, complexity, and the perfect mixture between this bourbon character, <laughs> vanilla, tropical fruits, and also oxidized fruits, raisins, sherry character. Mm. Perfume, <laughs> aloe vera. <laughs> mm. A little bit of a chocolate going on as well. Yeah. Probably <laughs> medicinal chocolate. <laughs> medicinal chocolate. I yeah, like that for 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 blocking you. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Should, should we, we give the uh, the honest opinion? Yeah. Yeah. Should very drop, close. Drop the act. They're pretty similar. <laughs> so so the, not the devil's advocate anymore, but yeah. they're they're pretty close together. Mm -hmm. The the Glenmorangie is lighter. Yes, this yeah. is due to the high stilts. Yeah. yeah. So the distillery character of Glenmorangie is just a good amount lighter than the McAllen. But for that, they have three percent more in ABV. Mm -hmm. So this is countermeasure to the light. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now that I don't have to say say anything bad about it. That's really a good whiskey. And <laughs> when you say something bad about the whiskey and then you drink it, it's really not that good. <laughs> <laughs> so you should really get yourself in the mood before trying whiskey. It was oh, it's called a, a, a self uh, uh, prophecy, self self fulfilling prophecy. Fulfilling, this, that's the word. Yeah. And here we have the the other one from Glenmorangie. That's a a special. I'm not sure if it's just seasonal or. Uh, how long that uh, will be out there, but it's a, a nice package of Glenmorangie that has uh, really that theme of giraffe going on because the stills at Glenmorangie they always compare it to the giraffe. And I, I think they're they spending some money for that, or was this this special bottling from Glenmorangie? Um, and McCallan, they are owned by a trust, the Robertson Trust. The Robertson mm -hmm. Trust owns the Errington Company, and the Errington Company is the mother company of McKellen. So well, you're doing a good, uh, well, good deed. How it's called? Yeah, a good deed when you buy deed, a yeah. bottle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's nice, so I could recommend both of them. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Both of them are really, really good. If you're a little, little bit more on the lighter side, go for the Glenmorangie. If you're a little bit more on the, you know, not that much rougher side, but a little more, yeah. what do you call it? Deepness, oakiness, yeah. character, and, body. Uh, if you want to save some money, go for the Glenmorangie. Mm -hmm. If you don't care about money, go uh, for McAllen. <laughs> go for McAllen. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forgot that, that tail. 
Uh, yeah. He said, well, you're, it's too expensive. And I would uh, answer here <laughs> uh, that you only once complain about the price of a bottle, but always complain about a bad taste. <laughs> For the whole bottle. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I that, that's that. actually a bit true. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But not with these two. Yeah, But yeah. some people just, just remind themselves, oh, man, I pay too much, pay too much. But usually you just go, oh, yeah, I paid a little bit too much. Mm, enjoy the whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that was it with our little versus video. Write down in the comments which one did you like better and which one was more convincing to <laughs> to you when we uh, did our little showmanship. Anything else? And then thank you very much for watching and see you next time.